Welcome to the Porn Sacrifice channel after a very long break and yeah, getting back with a bunch of jobs. So what's happened, um, uh, I recovered from a cycling accident and then dropped something in my leg which was big and heavy and kind of put me out of action and I've been doing stuff on the house. I have been getting on with jobs in the car but it's all been little bitty things with me being pernickety about stuff um, and just trying to get things right. So there's a few jobs which we're going to go through today. Off the top of my head from what I remember, A is getting the engine back in, um, putting some stuff on the firewall, some heat protecting, which is probably the worst job. So this is a really good example of how not to put the uh, heat protection on. Um, and what was the other thing? Is, oh, and I made a brace as well. Uh, and then just had real trouble getting the engine back in. So this has been done over a month and a half now. Um, bits here and there, so I'm not quite sure how this is going to go together. Uh, so anyway, let's get on with the jobs from a month and a half ago. I've spared you all of the bits where I've been putting stuff on and also fiddling around with some metal options for the coolant takeoff. I've refitted the 3D printed plastic one. I'm not overly confident in it um, now that it's on. Uh, but we will see how it goes because I just want to get stuff uh, sorted. There's been a lot of fiddly little things like making gaskets for stuff using, I've got some uh, paper gasket which is oil and waterproof, so I'm making some stuff there. The bit that I'm going to now show you is I need to make a brace for here. Now ordinarily it's done off of the bottom somewhere and up and onto the turbo, but because of the way that I've clocked the turbo, the points to which it mounts is all the way around here, uh, which isn't really any good for this. So what I want to do is just try and take it from here and up to about there, just to help support the weight of this whole thing. What I will try and do is there's this piece here, um, which thing is stainless. So I'm gonna try and cut this. So cut across there, move it up a bit, so that I'm still going to bolt in um, and then look at attaching something or modifying this end. Next up is thermocloth heat shielding and that's going to basically just go along the back here. I took off all the factory stuff. Um, this is just to try and keep the heat from the exhaust and turbo from, from soaking too much through the engine. What I have done is just with the clutch um, uh, cylinder here um, because the original gasket was old and worn and damaged um, I've just cut one out of the um, the card material that I've got uh, which is gasket material uh, oil and waterproof so that's there just to stop moisture from getting through so that's all ready to go um, so I think I'm just going to do this section here probably along the, that side the exhaust side of the transmission tunnel I'll see how much I've got left um, so yeah the first order of business is just kind of get this up around here and um, get it cut into shape and then once that's done I'll start peeling and, and sticking because um, it's quite particular about the way that it goes on and not getting air bubbles and, and things in it so I need to be a bit careful about doing that but hopefully it won't be too bad.
So it turns out I've not done the best job on this. If you look just around the edges here, you'll see that it's basically starting to fold out. And even without any heat on it, a lot of this is starting to come away. So I'm going to fix it up as best I can. But I've got a horrible feeling this isn't going to last too long. Um, I've got one or two of the original clips walking around. So what I think I will do is just put those on in a couple places um, and just try and hold it in as best I can. But it's a bit of a crap job on my part, to be honest. Okay, so the engine is just going to be wheeled over here. I was thinking I was being really clever there, just get the hoist over, shift a few things around and slide the old engine in. That's not worked at all. It's a week uh, at least, I think maybe a week and a day after that last bit. Um, so I've had real problems getting the engine leveling in. Being on this hoist has really helped. Um, but the last couple of days, um, I've probably spent two or three hours just trying to get everything lined up and bolted between the engine and the um, the torque tube. And it's just driving me absolutely nuts. I come down and get angry, go away again, and then come back again. And um, I, in the end, I should have got to this point. So you know, I just kind of slid everything forward to make sure that everything was where it needed to be. And it's only when I've done that that I've noticed that the the bolts, and I'll show you, show you this as best I can because I'm not taking the whole damn thing out again is the bolts won't go in to the adapter plate they're fine on the bottom two but on the top two holes the way that they're drilled actually even with the thing out it's really difficult to get them in so what i'm going to do is um just basically countersink and probably just round off um some of the the, the bolts just to help them locate a bit easier so um before I do anything, I'll just go down and kind of take a quick bit of, of where that is. And then I'll get on and just do the can sinking and what have you. And then hopefully it's going to go back in uh, a lot easier. And we're pretty much back to square one. The uh, heat shielding is just a right mess. I don't think that's going to last, unfortunately, uh, but we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, so there's a bit of a lesson there. I think it might have been easier if I had something um, with a bit more depth to the material um, because of the, the contours of the whole back panel. Obviously, the factory one's molded. So I'll see how well that lasts. I expect to have to be redoing that at some point. The, the adapter plate, the way that that married up, that was just a bit weird, the way that that didn't then want to go back together again. Um, having gone there in the first place, I spent so much time on that. It was just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, as for the engine bay, um, as you, I don't know how much you noticed when everything was going back together, but all of the metal bits, anything that was damaged, scratched or what have you, has now been repainted. Uh, I did have a look through my phone uh, as an old image, and unfortunately you can't actually really see that much difference. Uh, just looking at the picture because everything is quite hidden but um, trust me when I say this is a lot better than it was before so I'm actually really pleased uh, with the uh, exercise all up so yeah so that's really good I've got some repairs I'm going to do to the dashboard so I need to get that done the other thing obviously the main thing now is just to sort out and tidy up the electrics what I'm going to do there I think is mount the uh, ECU where the original one was and essentially have clips here so that I can bring the cables out and just have them to plug in 
uh, at this point and then the power ones will all come from that side and there's some stuff that I still need to sort out there uh, to get that done so that's why there's just a mess of wires there but overall no very pleased with with how this has all gone I've had to make some adjustments and the reason for doing it this way I think I mentioned this in a previous video but just to just go over it again um, although this has been a, a, I probably made this more work than it needed to be um, but in getting everything in getting the engine running and allowing things to move around a little what I was able to see was where things were snagging um, there was a bit of an adjustment that I needed to make to the transmission tunnel so it just gives you that bit of um, uh, uh, movement and you can see where things are, are not quite right took everything out cleaned everything up painted it all so it's all protected and, and hopefully isn't going to rust and there's a lot of old existing stuff now which should look a lot better than it did before so there we are um, I have still got some jobs to do I need to make some speaker stands and um, I've got to repair uh, some wood around the house and this afternoon I'm going to repaint the garage door because it's here once and it's horrible so I'm going to redo that now um, but yes actually having had a bit of a break I'm, I'm keen to be getting back on with things again so uh, I think that's probably been a bit of a help um, so yeah I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going to see what I've got so it will be electrics or dashboard next. We'll see how we go.